Man. Welcome to the bracket, episode 17. Uh, I am Ken Jack. We got Coley McMahon right there. We got Nick KB, Che, and the guest spot today belongs to Vitalberg. Vitalberg, how you doing? I'm good. It, it felt like there was a pause for a round of applause there, and, and no one did it. Uh, so <laughs> that's disappointing. But we started without Owen. Owen's yeah, where is Owen? And there we got Owen. Hey. Sorry, I thought I bumped him into the <laughs> stream. Right. There we go. My bad, Owen. So we got Owen here too. All right, so today we are doing the bracket of the most inconsequential things. And this is one that was suggested by Nick. And when you first suggested it, I was like, I don't even understand what you're asking me. Like, it's like a weird thing to understand. But the more that I thought about it, there's so many things that are incredibly inconsequential. And the pool that you guys put together is insanely deep. Like, so many good options. It's absolutely insane. But what made you think of inconsequential specifically? I was just thinking, <laughs> I was looking at the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just reflecting just it. quite literally reflecting uh yeah i don't know i was just thinking if i died like tomorrow would anybody care would anyone <laughs> shed a tear would would you be on the bracket? <laughs> <laughs> we do we would definitely do a bracket of best nicks if you died i promise you Thanks, you wouldn't man. win you probably. Would win. Not uh, but there's not a, a lot of good nicks You'd be like a CIT playing game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cool In the grand scheme of things, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Saint so Nick. we got a lot to get to. Yeah. Saint, no, St. Nick, he's Santa Claus. I don't think he's St. Nick counts as Santa oh. Claus. I feel like Santa Claus For is just Santa sure, Claus. Sure, St. Nick is a Nick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but like – it's Santa Claus. That's that that the, the human being name right there. You're making his you case for why he's winning this bracket. Right? <laughs> you think it's like a hand is, 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 is Nicky Cookie upsetting thing? Santa yeah. round one? <laughs> <laughs> just, just, <laughs> holy just shit. shit! That's just Santa. Um. Okay, so we got a lot to get to. We'll start off on the on our West Coast side of the bracket. The first one. This is one that I was believe uh, was suggested by Stephen Che. Uh, it is the number twelve seed. It is. <laughs> one of the most inconsequential things is how good at sports you were in high school. Our very first one on the board. What do you guys think mm -hmm. of it? I, I got to disagree. Strong. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Because it doesn't matter if you like it. Now it, 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 it's kind of, it's a gray area because it doesn't matter. Like what you, what you like, how many points you scored doesn't matter. But you need to still have the ability to look like you could have been something back in the day. Like if you are – but whether you're at the beach throwing a football, if someone throws you a basketball, if you got to play catch with your kid at the park or something like that, it just has the, the look that there was a chance at one point in your life you were maybe a bit of a threat. I, I don't even oh, think it's oh, that. Like it, it shapes who you are for the rest of your life. Like it has a tremendous impact. And like you – it's not a good thing, but it's there's a consequence. Well, Kyle, you got your entire higher education for free. I'm um, not for free. Um, oh. Well, then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. God, no. It was not for free. But I thought you were good. Uh, well, wrestling, it's, it's <laughs> they only give nine scholarships per team. So, how many guys are on a wrestling team? More than I would have guessed. Not the answer I would have said out loud. <laughs> Nine total, so I mean, ten starters, thirty-ish. Am I fucking echoing? Yeah, you're echoing. Yeah, because you're sitting right next to me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is like an endless struggle fights. This happens every bracket now. <laughs> is them working? Kyle doesn't have right internet right? fights. Yo, what? yeah, did you not know this? You don't have internet, KV? No, and sometimes I'll leave my apartment. And he's sitting in my hall using my internet, watching Sopranos oh, no, no. on his no, iPhone not. Seven. The last lap goes to me because Spectrum Internet. I still have their their um, their items hostage. Yes. What do you no, mean? Wait, plug wait. them in. Why was that your go-to? Plug them in. Internet? I owe Spectrum. them. I owe them all their materials. No, you can just transfer it. You don't have to yeah. swap materials. I think you do. No, you don't. I. I'm, no, I didn't. Yeah, but wait, wait. Tell fights how long you've been. Ever. KB, tell fights how long you've been at your current apartment without Wi-Fi. Since I got it. Eight months? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight months without Wi-Fi. We're still that, on the honeymoon stage. 
this is up there although nate nate went like something like three or four months which i thought was insane so you've doubled that up i don't but. get people who just don't use their phone for everything I don't need a, a laptop. Or a no, because it's because it's sad, Kyle. Because it's sad. I've had I've had days where I come home and I don't even turn on the lights. I don't even turn on the TV. I just sit on the couch and play on my phone, and it's fucking depressing. That's why. Yeah, you it is sad, it. man. I, have my life my life not have that look. I would just use my phone. I don't need anything else. <laughs> you guys are gonna have neck problems, man. But I still regularly watch like, high school wrestling, like, my state finals matches. So this is not inconsequential by any means. This is a this is very nice. I think it's very. It's I, mean, I guess it's consequential to the very few high school athletes that go to a collegiate level and get a full scholarship out of it, and consequential negatively to the people who make it and then form their identity, like Coley was saying. Even, but even like. Not even the forming identity part. If you were like truly sick in your town, like this wasn't me, but movies have taught me if you were like that guy, you were having tons of sex, which <laughs> will change your entire outlook on life. Like you're going to be a happier person, I would imagine. I, I, I don't guess know. I had no sex in high school and I'm really happy. <laughs> that we know brain defect. That's what yeah, <laughs> that, that's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's going up against the number five seed. Which is honking in traffic, which um, is wildly ineffective. It does literally nothing to solve the issue you're trying to fix by honking. So, like, I, I think that's a very good choice here. That pisses me off like so honking. much. It, yeah. I would argue it's honking ever, except if, like, actually yeah, you're really. about to hit someone or you're about to I get into a car. Like, the, the, you're gonna hit something. Honk is the only successful honk. Yeah, the, the little love, the, the little love, the double honk. Yeah, yeah. 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 To get you somewhere. But That's a loud exactly honk is only really gonna have adverse reactions to that. You should only be given a allotment of a certain mm -hmm. amount of honks. Or it should be like an airbag. If you honk, it should total yeah. the car. <laughs> <laughs> really meaningful. It instantly shuts it up. But like that, that's the thing is like regular honks. Like if you're trying to like if someone's asleep at a green light, you give them a bump. Like, yeah, like a little yes. courtesy beep. That's fine. But honking in traffic specifically, it, it literally accomplishes nothing at all. And I think that specifically is what like help puts us up at a higher seat. Yeah. If someone's asleep, you give them a bump, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what works. <laughs> yeah, just, just a little just a little beep. <laughs> you know, but uh, OK, so let's let's put this to a vote. Coley, we'll start with you. Um, how good you were at sports in high school or honking in traffic? What's your pick? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go honking in traffic. Like at most, you're just giving the person you honked at a short story to tell the people they're about to go see. Like this asshole just honked at me. Can you believe, <laughs> can you believe that happened? <laughs> All right, Shay. <sighs> Ooh, um. I nominated the being good at sports in high school, but yeah, it's got to be the honking just because after one second, it's over and that's it. You got your little anger out. Um, so I'm voting for the most inconsequential, right? Yes. It's got to be the honking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Fights. Uh, I'm going to go with the honking as well. I I live in New York City, so I've experienced quite a bit of it. There was one time a car was a car was. Coming across the street, I think it was 18th Street. I was walking in the rain. It slammed on the brakes, honked really loud at me. I was angry because I saw my life flash before my eyes. So I swung an opened umbrella at the car, <laughs> which got <laughs> caught by the wind and hit, and just didn't hit anything. And then we both looked at each other like, what the fuck were we either of us thinking? That was the <laughs> thing. And then we just okay. went on our merry way. That says so much about you after seeing your entire life flash before your eyes. You were mad. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, why couldn't you finish me off? Basically. <laughs> All right, Nick, you could finish it off right now. What are you picking? <clears throat> Easily honking in traffic. All right. Honking's going to advance. Owen and KB, what would you have picked? Uh, yeah, honking in traffic. I'm still very insecure that I wasn't good at sports in high school. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not insecure yeah. about it because I just know it's a fact. Yeah, like, the high yeah. school, I'm not, that should be I, nominated I'm, for something else. I'm still the age where like that still matters. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Me too. He's a, 
You still think he can lace him up. Uh, all right, so next up is going to be the number four seed. This is a very strong one. I think Fights You nominated this one. It's the rule about waiting 20 minutes before you go swimming after you eat. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's a very good nomination. Strong. Wow, I haven't thought about that in a long time. Mm. It wasn't it 30 or is it 20? I, I thought it was 20. I, thought, I, I was told 20, but maybe my parents yeah, wanted maybe 20. Either mm. way. It's a strong one. I think everyone knows what it is, and I don't think it's ever caused anyone any pain in their entire life if they've gone swimming too oh, soon. Yeah, I don't know eating. how that became a thing. One yeah. person in like 1912 ate a, a mm -hmm. sandwich, and that was before they had like meat regulations. So they died <laughs> from that, and they blamed the water. <laughs> they went to the water and got shot or something, and someone was yeah. like, oh, well, they eat eight before it, so clearly it caused an effect there. Uh, and there, that's going up against the number 13, uh, <laughs> the number 13 seed, which is paper straws. You could lump recycling into this, but I think just doing paper straws is better because paper straws does literally nothing. And like recycling also in general, like I was looking at the stats of it after picking this up, only 9% of all the world's recycling is actually recycled, which yeah, is fucking correct. crazy. So like it's so inconsequential, it's nuts. But I think paper straws, just for the sake of the, um, the graphic here, is a better pick. Owen. Can we, can, can, we, can we lump into the paper straws the fact that the Starbucks like – Strawless option uses more plastic than a straw. <laughs> the lid that bumps out, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like a very thick, nice plastic. But continue. Yeah. Yep. I, okay, so that I, I they are inconsequential as far as life goes, but they do make me sad whenever someone promotes them because it is the the, the 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 fucking turtle with a straw in his nose is sad. It has a consequence when I see it. But, but that's the, just that turtle has awful luck. In all of the ocean, you've got a straw in your tiny nose. That's <laughs> never going to happen again. That maybe has happened yeah. once. I don't also, think that's mm -hmm. It's like threading an astronomical needle for that to have ever happened. The yeah. ocean is so goddamn massive. But like, I've, seen, I've seen KB with a straw in his nose. <laughs> <laughs> but that somehow makes more sense. <laughs> like in the 90s, it was the the six pack holders or somehow perfectly yeah, yeah. around the dolphin's snout. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Like, it's just like a carnival ring toss. Like, when does that ever happen? <laughs> I think you ever know, guys. Did you guys ever try and put those six pack holders on your wrists and use them like as handcuffs and try and break out? No. No. <laughs> what are you I'm talking? not going to clown that one too hard. It's pretty sick. It's oh. sick. I mean, you can probably do it to this day. And it's kind of a cool <laughs> way to pretend you're getting arrested and being a bad guy, being a hero. No. Wait, Is why? Cool? Why wouldn't you be able to do that to this day? No, you, like you can, but it's not like crazy easy. Like you got to kind of put a little muscle into it. So you're saying over time they made them stronger because no, I'm I'm just saying like it used to be very hard. Now it is not as hard, but it still presents <laughs> a slight challenge. If you put your hands behind your back. That's I like how you're doing that, like the, the liver king dude or whatever, or the phone book dude. It's like, nah, I'm just shred my way out of a six pack thing. Wait, or, how did the six pack rings get easier to put behind your arms as handcuffs? Because you get stronger. Easier to break, I'm saying. Easier to break. Okay. Okay. You gotta break out of it, otherwise you're just getting arrested that's yeah. right <laughs> no I've, that's so I've never done that i've never done that <laughs> okay oh, wow. so let's let's put it off to a vote owen you're first uh the waiting 20 minutes to swim rule or paper straws um paper straws i actually got a cramp for the first time in like forever the other day i tried eating my lunch just like fully on the go and it, it, yeah, it hurt so that's somewhat adjacent i think cramps are wait you got a, you a got thing. a cramp like in your yeah, mouth yeah no, a cramp in my stomach, like my side. Yeah, that's, that's the reason. Like cramping. Cramping. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's about it cramping. cramping. Isn't okay. that what happens if you swim after 20 minutes? Yes, I think so, yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying from the paper straw, it gave your mouth a cramp trying to operate it. Like, <laughs> no, he's saying that eating eating quickly is consequential. Or, yeah, yeah, waiting. Yeah, I'll go Fair. with whatever KB picks. <laughs> KB, okay, what are you picking? Well, I think the waiting 20 minutes thing has been debunked. Which would make it, it could either be the most consequential thing if it was just made up by some random guy and people are still following years after. But if it's an actual health requirement or, uh, I don't know, then it is consequential. I think yeah. it's been debunked though, and I don't think it's ever, have you ever heard of anyone like dying from, you know, going for a swim after eating? I don't, I don't, I've never heard of any negative consequence. Yeah. 
but people are but if people are following it still, then it is consequential. Yeah, but people follow a lot of dumb rules that aren't consequential. So like it doesn't make them consequential. It means that there's, oh, there's okay. rules. It's different. Yeah, then I'll go with the waiting to swim. That's ridiculous. All right, then that's gonna be two for waiting to swim. Uh Nick. I think paper straws are consequential just like for me, like I don't like the way they feel in my teeth. Makes me gives me goose pimples. Mm. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Coley. And yeah, so <laughs> nothing to do with the Celtics. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that yes, I'm preaching. Um, so I'm going waiting 20 minutes. That's maybe for like Olympic swimmers, but like for kids that are just like throwing the wet balls at each other, then no, it's not. You're fine. All right, you could put it away right now. Fights. What are you picking? Yeah, yeah. Take the straws out back and shoot them. I think it's. I think it's the 20 minutes as well. Um, and I'm with Nick. If I want to, I want to create a, a fucking whirlpool and an above ground pool. That, I can do that after a hot dog. I'll be all set. I'm doing that on a full stomach. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you, what do you pick, Che? Definitely the waiting to sw- – I mean, we didn't even know how many minutes it was. So it has to yeah. be. Yeah. Coley? Uh, like, <clears throat> recycling should be extremely consequential, and it isn't. That's my – like, it has the biggest – like valley between how it should be and versus what it actually is, which is why I submitted it. Like the, we had, a, I think we posted a video yesterday where it was like a restaurant and it had like the two holes in the barrel thing. And yeah. it's like one for recycling, one for trash. And there's just one fucking barrel in there. Like <laughs> even when people are making an earnest effort to divide up their trash, there's some fucking hole that just brings it right back to the, tr- there's uh, the garbage Island out in the Pacific. That's larger than most countries. We we should. I'm Al Gore, and we should actually recycle. <laughs> <laughs> should really recycle. All right, so we're going up. We got the eight versus the nine. The eight seed. Uh, I, I, think, I think we're going to be the generation, Coley, that that we a we get rid of recycling, and like as as our thirty year old once we hit, like we kind of get to be in charge of stuff. We're done with recycling, and we're bringing back smoking. I see <laughs> smoking is back. Cigarettes again. Smoking's big back, but smoking's big back. It's, it's, smoking it's, cigarettes it's, specifically. I'm pro both those stances. If someone wants yeah. to use that the presidential. What, what I could see happening is like Musk's next next big move is he's just, just going to start launching trash into space, and <laughs> why not? Future people yeah. can deal with that. Yeah. yeah, like I'm sure that won't work long term, but short term, yeah, get it out of here. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm I, here on the shortest term, so it works for me. I thought uh, you were going to say he was going to buy a tobacco farm and start selling cigarettes, but he should do that too. Yeah, you know, anyone can do two Maybe things. So. <laughs> All right. So the number eight versus the number nine. Number eight is middle names. Middle names extremely inconsequential. Yeah, everyone has like almost everyone has one. They they mean nothing. And I did I looked it up because I, I I really never thought about it, but like why the fuck do we have middle names? And apparently in ancient Rome, the more names you had, the more important you were. So like slaves had one name, women had two, and then men had three. And then you can use it to like keep track of maternal bloodlines That's later a on. Fact. Yeah, that is. interesting. After a bum, you know, big time an, bum, I guess. And even more uh, inconsequential names: the confirmation name. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah, significantly yeah. true. Wait, what's okay? Let's go around for the Catholics here. Owen, what was your confirmation name? Uh, Joseph. Nah, I don't know. Name. Was. Mine's uh, Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. I went. I went Connor, and it was. And this is embarrassing, and I don't know how often I've ever admitted this. Coley, you might want to mute me for this one. Uh, I went Connor, and I chose it because that was my favorite Boondock Saint brother. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't hate that. That's pretty cool. That's so. It, it was always the kids. That, everything that, I believe about you as a person. It was um, always the kids in like the front of the alphabet because you got to choose. Like they went down like alphabetical. Like okay, which they gave you a list. And so like the person in front of the alphabet was always Blaze. That was always the coolest yeah. one to choose. Yeah. And it was always yeah. I'm just, Kyle, you were probably so close to Blaze. I was almost named Blaze. My dad wanted to <laughs> mom next to me. Blaze Bauer. BB No Swag. <laughs> That would have been fucking awesome. Che, yeah, did you oh, get you're one? very lucky you weren't named Blaze Bauer. Blaze Bauer, I was a college wrestler. He'd be like, oh, you fucking you no, he, your potential. He would have been a little bigger and he would have been yeah. an SEC cornerback. That's what he would have yeah. been. True. Yeah. There wasn't Blaze Butler who wrestled for UVA. He was a stud. 
Mm. Damn shame. Oh. Shay, what was yours? My, or you, you could have been a SoundCloud mumble rapper, too. That mm. Yeah. Blaze Bauer. Sorry, My Jay, confirmation name, very 10x, Xavier. Oh, wow. that's great. I see. You're smart. You did the same thing I did, which is trying to get something like uh, a little snappier for your regularly, like, not that flashy name. Coley, yeah. what about you? Uh, I went Anthony, super simple. Oh, that's fucking, you went with Italian name. That's even worse. I'm with Maximilian. First of all, I am Italian. Second of all, yeah. I, I, <laughs> my grandfather, who was 100% Irish, was named Anthony. Uh, that's, that's who I named it after. So I don't, I don't understand your criticism, friend. It, I can't imagine a, a Tony that was Irish. Um, my actual middle name is Anthony. <laughs> but that's, that doesn't fucking matter. Exactly. <laughs> but like people use it as a talking point. It drives me crazy. Like, so what's your middle name? Guess. Yes, yeah, every time. Guess. Everybody wants you to yeah. fucking guess. Yes. Also, people Why? use it as like They're infinite names. No, people use it as like a proof of friendship. Like, oh, do you know my middle name? Yeah. Has anybody ever done that to you? Yes, I've I've, said, I've had that happen once in my uh, friend group. Yeah, it's like yeah, Brandon Walker goes name. by his middle name. Yeah, <laughs> that's I think that's a crazy move. Oh, why? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, he just called you crazy right to your damn face, Cole. Yeah, yeah and dude. I made fun of you for being Italian. It's the coldest well, like, hour. Brandon Cole, Walker, name? Brandon Walker's first name, like his name, Tommy Walker is a better name. Like I don't yes! know. <laughs> I know, and he like wants to be like a wrestling manager, and he's, he was Tommy Walker, and I was like, come on, man. Wait, Coley is your middle name? Yeah, I thought it was a play on like your last name. No, I don't, people think Coley is my last name, which is blow. Like the, Rico the Mick is still the thinks my last name is Coley. Mm -hmm. uh, the I Mick is the last it. name. Yeah, Mick's the last name. Uh, my parents are jackasses, um, so my father was like, "We're we're naming him Edward." Like, I don't give a fuck. That's what's going on the birth certificate. And my mother was like, "I'll literally never call him that. He's Coley." <laughs> so I've been Coley since I was born, and it's made first day of school a real headache every year, every class. That was a fucking headache. Uh, my parents used to sign me up for things as E. Coley. Uh, so <laughs> once, once kids saw that, they just would call me E. Coley. Yeah. Uh, that was brutal for like twelve years. Um, so yeah, much more difficult. Uh, and then when I call to order something from a place like pizza or something, they're like, what's the name? It took me 20 years to realize, like, just don't say Coley because no one knows <laughs> that name and they go, what? <laughs> every time. So I say Edward every time. That, that was a tough one for me to learn. Like when I was younger, that, like you don't, don't give like when they wanted full name, not Feidelberg. If it didn't matter, I was like, it's it's, I'm not spelling Feidelberg out for you. <laughs> Don't have stuck. I, I went with Maximilian because uh, it was this guy that was a Polish priest during the Holocaust, um, and he got sainted afterwards. He, he, you know, he ratted out a lot of hiding families. Did a good job. Um, so I they're going up against. When I chose a boondock saint, nice. Yeah, yeah. it's basically well, like the same thing. Basically, was supposed to be my real name, Maximilian Feidelberg. Yeah, I was That's supposed to be fancy. Maximilian or Luke. You get, John's fancy. got a good full name. Well, that last name kind of stinks, but the first two are strong. <laughs> well, that's because that's why I will not be voting for middle names because I have like nine Johns in my family, so we're all called by our middle name. Mm. Uh, my mom wanted to name me Hay Hayden, and I told her if she had done that, I would absolutely be dead right now. Uh, if <laughs> yeah, something, yeah. I don't know what would I'd be 100% dead never right now. never make it long. Nah. Minimum, um, I can <laughs> so uh, it's middle names going up against the number nine seed, which is <laughs> mattress tags. The tags on your mattress that say, do not remove this uh, under penalty of law. No one, nobody in the entire damn world is going to see that and arrest you. There's no cop that's going to arrest you for removing your mattress tags. Never going to happen. Never did happen. So I think that's a pretty good matchup of eight versus nine seed. Uh, let's start on the other side. Coley, what do you think? Mattress tags versus middle names. One of them involves the law. So that's extremely consequential. Pillows. <laughs> uh, but no one gets arrested for it. No you one's ever gotten that. arrested for that. Come you on. do not know that. Uh, I'm, I'm for sure going, even as a middle name guy, I, that has to be more. Like most people, like the, the truest sign, at least in today's society, of being somebody is only having one name. So middle names, uh, like that just, to me, that shows weakness. And I am a weak man. <laughs> Let's go, Che. Um, I don't know if I've taken a mattress tag 
off. Like you just put, why would I take it off? You just put your sheets over it and your bed sheets and the fitted sheets. So I don't, I think I just put it on and your mattress cover. So I think I just put it on and ne- like never took it off and just never saw it until I moved. So, um, doesn't that speak to its inconsequentialness? Inconsequential. But like, are we talking about the mattress tag itself or taking it off? It's the the law, the federal law about taking off your mattress tag because it's so inconsequential. Because I'm sure it, plenty of people have done it, but the percentage of people who've been arrested that have taken off their mattress tag has to be like in the the point zero 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 one percent. Yeah, or zero. <laughs> yeah, it has to be zero. Um, it, yeah, I guess it has to be that because middle names. Yeah, it's at least like a talking point. Um, they don't necessarily matter, but yeah, there are you know Coley and then Brandon also go by their middle names, so. And it gives you your initials for monograms. Yeah. (laughs) That's the reason L.L. Bean's in business. Yeah. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. Get the whole industry of backpacks. That's where it's consequential, though. If you have, uh, like, a first name, like, if that doesn't flow well, and if it's, Mm -hmm. like, a a swear or, like, if you're, like, Martin Fitzgerald Clancy or some shit and you're Mary Fuck Kill all throughout high school, like, that's tough. Mm -hmm. Clancy, I think, like that. Um, it's, fights. it's risky to have a middle name that starts with a vowel because it could form a word. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I one time had I had someone uh, fuck with nice. my LLP backpack to the point with white out. It was a black backpack with white letters on it, and they fucked with it. I was a freshman; they were a senior. This was in a Latin class, so I couldn't even get mad because they were a big person. They fucked with the the J H F to the point that it said C U M. And I had to walk around with my backpack. It just how come did they turn on. a J they, into a C? It was like they they black because it was just a black and white. So they would black out. They blacked out like part of the. I guess I can't even really picture how they did it, but it was. I know yeah, I was. Absolute legend. They had to have had a sharpie involved too. There was no way. <laughs> oh no, they were. There was black. Yeah, there's a tool too. Oh, is they had tool both operation. colors. Yeah. They had both colors. So there was there was all kinds of. Miss so they don't need your. He could have just written "cum" on your back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he could have found somebody's plane. He could have just wrote "cum." But I didn't. Also. I didn't realize it right away because it was well done. I yeah. guess so. It, it was you had "cum" on your back, so you couldn't tell. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> also, the pro, like the biggest pro, maybe middle name history. I don't know if JFK ever becomes president if he doesn't go by JFK. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My, maybe he's still alive without that F. My dad has a uh, JFK and I got JGK, which oh, is not cool. nearly as cool. No, not good. even close to Gordon. And they picked it because of the fucking kid from stand by me. Like they watch stand by me and they're like, we really like Will Wheaton in this movie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> fucking terrible. It's I guess. Yeah. Building. It gives everybody their name. If they are two letter okay. names, JD, TJ, et cetera. Does, mm-hmm. does anyone know what the B in Michael B. Jordan is for? No, I have He's, no clue. Not a clue. It's an important. I don't either. I was genuinely. It's an important letter. What does the D? What does the D stand for with Jeff D. Low? A million things. I do. Yeah, that's an, that's that one. I know, but Michael B. Jordan. Let's see. <laughs> Bakari, Bakari Jordan. That damn. That he should went by that. Why did he go by Bakari Jordan? Yeah, he should. I, Being the other Michael Jordan, still pretty good. Yeah. That's that's still though. I think Bakari Jordan would have been awesome. Although he might not be an actor right now. If his oh, name is Bakari Jordan, I call Ooh, Adam. Adam. Yes, he yes he <laughs> would be. <laughs> All right. Uh, so fights. What are you picking? Middle names or mattress tags? That's a good that's a good question. I don't know because mattress tags also have some consequence to me. Uh, I believe they were my favorite joke in the Pee Wee Herman movie. I think uh, <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly, someone was arrested because of removing the mattress tag. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen it in quite some time, but there's there was some mattress tag aspect to it. However, I am still going to have to name that one the more inconsequential because of the JFK uh, revelation we just had. Okay, so you're going with um, mattress tag, sorry? Yes, mattress tag. Okay, so uh, f- what do we got, uh, Nick? I think, yeah, mattress tag is inconsequential, but it's not something you deal with a lot. For the amount of people that have middle names, which is mostly everybody, uh, it matters for 0.5%. And it's such a major talking point. It's like something you have to know if you want to be close friends. It's dumb. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything to the layperson. I'm going middle, middle names. All right. So we're two to two, KB. 
Yeah, I think uh, the mattress, the mattress thing is more silly to me. Um, the yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. I think it's like the most inconsequential like piece of information to know about somebody. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the JFK thing is stuck on my mind. <laughs> I would say this though, if I could change my pick, I think I might hear this argument. The the literal doctors put optional for your middle name. They're like, if you wow. don't want to put out, you can skip this part. We don't give a shit. It's not even just them, like banks. Like, no one banks. really needs to know. The, the government, yeah. they're like, we, you know, if you want to put an initial, that's fine, we guess. But we don't really care. Um, John Kennedy would have been fine. He would have been just as famous middle name. Wait, so you're going middle names. Okay. Yeah. So it's three to two right now. Owen, what do you got? I'll go with the mattress tags. Mattress tags Ooh. are tied up, so I have to tie break. Shit. Okay. Um, I think if I had to pick between these two, I do think that the mattress tag law is so wildly inconsequential. Like the fact that that's a law, it should be like almost one of those goofy laws where it's like, yeah, in Tulsa, you can't like I mean, walk around with a dog at th exactly 3 p.m. or whatever. Yeah. Those yeah, there's laws literally like that. No, con no consequences. Zero so, consequences to it. Yeah, my it wildly is inconsequential. <laughs> Isn't but, the actual law like for the mattress vendors, like they can't yeah. take it off? I yeah. think so, so they can't resell it. Um, but... After the middle names, like all that argument, I do think Coley swayed me a little bit. I'm going to go with middle names and advance them, the eight seed. Um, some middle names advances. All right, now we have the the number one seed versus a play-in game. The number one seed of this bracket is the door close button on an elevator. Mm -hmm. Does yeah. not do a goddamn thing. Does not do anything. Completely inconsequential. Jam it as many times as you want. Does not make the elevator close any faster. It's all placebo. Could also sub this in with like the you know, press this to make the light change or whatever at a crosswalk. But I think like the, the spirit of the elevator button, it works a little bit better here. Well, uh, for initial thoughts on our one seed. This is the really one. This is our number one. Successful ones. I, I understand that most, there, there are a lot of times we run into a hard time of pushing it. I've been around an elevator or two. That, that door will close for it. Oh yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like, as a security guard, I worked in a lot of new and old buildings I'll tell you what that built that button's just worn out. It it just stops working. It does work in new buildings, and they just don't fix it. So I, I this is one of these myths you hear about on on the internet. That thing will work. Okay, so that's actually good to know <laughs> that we're gonna have like a pretty contentious one seat. Oh, okay. Let's uh, we'll, we'll see. see. I've seen videos where they're not attached to anything. Yeah, I definitely but, think it's hit or miss. I think there's ones like Ken Jack, like you're saying, that it does nothing. Mm -hmm. I think there is most. Missed. You gotta watch some better videos, Nick. <laughs> I watched uh, Stephen Che. The videos I watch will blow your feeble mind. <laughs> what was the site that you said you I've got elevator on? buttons. I've got all sorts of videos. <laughs> Nick's on like the official exclusively watch page. elevator button videos. That's the way you're making it out. <laughs> what, was the, what was the site you were talking about today that you watch stuff on? 4chan? I use 4chan a lot. Well, that makes that, sense. That's not that's not elevator buttons, brother. That's no, <laughs> that's a lot of buttons. So I, I would say do. elevator buttons are consequential when you get caught using one. If somebody's like coming uh, towards the elevator and you hit it, mm, that's the consequence good point. there. Mm -hmm. All right, so they're going up against the playing game. There's going to be a few options here. I'm going to let you guys choose uh, the very first one, and the most a lot of you have this one. I don't. It, it might be a little too like you know of the moment, but I'll let you guys decide. Wordle scores. Uh, Wordle scores everyone, tweet them, text them, whatever. They are wildly inconsequential. No one thinks anyone's smarter for getting a Wordle faster. Plus, you Just know lie. that any given person can cheat and lie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, so that next is the Coney 2012 movement. Didn't do shit. <laughs> Guy's still out there right now as we speak. Um, washing your hands for over 20 seconds. This was a Che thing again. Che's got stinky hands. Uh, mm -hmm. Next up is the Utah Jazz. Uh, I'll let you just I'll let you figure out who picked that one. Um, th the next one is the is the people who check your receipt when you leave a store. Uh, oh yeah, that is wildly inconsequential. And then the last one is the Epstein flight logs. Um, <laughs> zero consequences from that yeah. at all. Uh, okay, so we'll start out, Coley. Which one of these do you want? I can read the options off for you again if you want the full list. I mean, I nominated the Jazz because. I mean, come on. But 
I walk right past those receipt checkers. Like they, I don't know if they're back in the heat. I don't know if they like have the legal right to stop me. I blow right past those fucking people. <laughs> All right, Jay. Check. I just highlight the receipts no. really quick. They don't give a shit. You can walk in there with any piece of paper you want. Jay. I have a very vivid memory from sixth grade where it was like pick uh it was like one of our first maybe it was the first day of school in sixth grade and they asked in english class like what you want to be when you grow up and of course i wanted to be an nba player but more than that i wanted to be an nba player for the utah jazz um (laughs) just because uh that's i mean they were coming off two straight or maybe they're in the middle of two straight finals bursts it seemed like the crowd was really into it and like all they really cared about was basketball because they don't have shit else um if god steven (laughs) <laughs> yeah, John. I don't know if you knew this. Stephen Jay is the most racist person out yeah. there. <laughs> want him to play for the Jazz for the, that crowd makes all the sense in the world. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I can just um, imagine young Steve Jay watching Carl Malone be like, "This is a great guy. I want to be just like him when I grow up." <laughs> um. So yeah, I would definitely not say the Utah Jazz. I think they're very consequential. I also loved the fo- the picture I drew of myself. I had myself in their uh, their black uniforms, which I thought were very cool. Um, that didn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, you didn't have to um, mention the color of the uniform, Steve. Nothing about the Utah Jazz or your little story is consequential. <laughs> they, have a, they, they, have a, they have a good home court advantage. Um, it's done nothing for them. Russell Westbrook got really mad at them. Yeah, because of the races of the African yes. races. <laughs> I'm just, right, just so, reading the news. So, what are you picking um, then, Steve? So, as far as I don't know. I don't get Wordle. I haven't played it, so that's why I don't get it. Um, but it's just what, like a, a it's like not a crossword. Imagine Sudoku. It's like imagine a crossword that's five yeah. letters, right? Yes. Yeah, you got the word five letters. Who cares? Why are why are people tweeting that? Is it linked to Twitter? You, you can just, just copy your results. Them. Yeah. So what? Engage in society once in a while. <laughs> I don't. I don't enough. Um yeah, no, fuck Wordle. I don't know what it is, but fuck it. All right, Wordle's got a vote. Uh, it's Feidelberg. I'm going to go Wordle again, but it's not for the same reason. It's because your score doesn't matter because it's so personalized. So it doesn't matter how many guesses it took you. It is it, – if it took you zero or six, as long as you got it, really, you won the game. Your score mm-hmm. itself doesn't matter because it's either luck and then you got a little skill. It, everything's so personalized. There's no comparison. So that's why it's inconsequential to me. Everyone doesn't get the same one? No, everyone gets the same one. one, But if you guess your first word's prick and mine is space, then we have different hints from there on out, and it's a completely different game. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Okay. okay, okay. Yeah. Adult humans should never not get the Wordle. It's just a, a broken game. Like, you should just always get it. You have six guesses. You can do enough words. Like, it's just... it's. It's no crowning achievement that you got it. Um, I will say today's was rupee, which was kind of, I mean, come on. Yeah, it was like, what are we doing here? No, I, I it should be a timed game. It shouldn't matter how it should be timed. Time. Yes. How long it took you to get it. I, I had today, I had a guess where it went ropes. So I got the R blank P E blank. Oh, and then no. I, I was out of other vowels and I was like, there's no fucking way. And I guessed it, and it accepted my guess of raped. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you had your, like, uh, South Park Stan Marsh moment. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, was, I, I got to Rupee, but I was like, there's no way. I mean, right? I can't think You're of right. That. There was no way it was going to happen. <laughs> I was uh, also accepted that also guess. Also, fuck people that give hints on Twitter early in the morning. Mm. Or they try and be like super like coy about it. Like they'll they'll say something close to the word. Like f- yeah, yeah. Don't fuck up those Kevin KFC. KFC. It's a lot harder once you have a hint. It's it's easier with no hints. I had more fun with uh, the, yeah. what is the total the uh, the NBA one. Fucking nailed today. Oh, so easy. Yeah. So easy. Uh, wait. So KB, what are you picking? Well, I think we're just we just proved why the wordle thing is consequential. I I personally I think it's lame to tweet it out, but I regard all of them and compare it to my own performance <laughs> every <laughs> single time. Yeah. Um, not, what were the other ones? All right, so we have the wordle scores: Coney twenty twelve movement, uh, washing your hands for over twenty seconds, like so recommended. Uh, the Utah Jazz receipt checkers and the Epstein flight logs. 
I'll go with the receipt checkers. Fuck them in their face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. uh, Owen, um, I'm gonna go with Coney 2012. Oh yeah, um, I forgot all about that. My thing there's is, there's definitely an imbalance of consequences what? there because mm. the guy who started it, his life was ruined because he uh, yes. got caught masturbating publicly. But Joseph Coney is 61, alive and well, <laughs> so. thriving. <laughs> yeah, I think the right guy now. that started to Coney 2012 got in more legal trouble than Joseph Coney. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm switching to Coney. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> it was even in there. I'm 100% switching to Coney. And I already picked Coney too, so that means we got four votes. Coney's going to advance. Um, so it's going to be, and I think Coney's then going to run away with it. So it's going to be Coney versus the elevator close button. All right, so I guess we'll start on the other end this time. Owen, the elevator button or Coney 2012? Dude, I looked up pictures of Coney the other day. He looks good. Like, he's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's not even worried about anything. No. No, 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 no. There's no signs of stress, anxiety, anything. He's, like, he's happy. <laughs> he's lost weight, too. Yeah. <laughs> he, he rides the Peloton twice a day. <laughs> I'm going with, yeah. Man, yeah. Imagine you log on to Peloton and your instructor's Joseph Coney. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that does mean how <laughs> inconsequential that do like a, a, a surprise Uber driver video with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it <was> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Coley, what were you saying? <laughs> that, that makes it the most inconsequential by default because there was this campaign, real or not, to, <laughs> to, to arrest this man at the minimum. And he's just like Owen's saying, he's in better shape than 99% of the human population. And and they wanted to arrest him for an army of children. And he just is fine. (laughs) It's about the worst thing you can do. (laughs) Of the worst thing a human being can do, enslave children, not only did he face zero repercussions, everyone just made a mockery of the whole movement. (laughs) (laughs) And the guy got arrested. For a long time in history, there's been an unspoken hierarchy of gruesome crimes. And he committed something that's always been at the top. (laughs) <laughs> and he has the worst thing to yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the intro for the next one. On order. Yeah, he's verified on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> one of a- one of my favorite clips, uh, or or kind of stunts, I guess, ever was when John Oliver uh, went to Russia and talked to Edward Snowden and showed him clips of Oliver asking people in Times Square, "Do you know what Edward Snowden did?" And people were like, oh, yeah, he's the WikiLeaks guy. Like, no one knew anything that he'd ever done. And he just showed that to Edward Stone. And he goes, was it worth it? And I would love to show this co- this little section here to the guy who started Coney 2012, who's probably <laughs> a mental institution. <laughs> like, but if you could go back in time, would you do it again, bud? <laughs> yeah. So I yeah, think I would so say so. It's co- is Coney going? <laughs> is Coney going straight through? That entire movement, but it had legs. But he was yeah. a terrible person. He should have been arrested. And he called it "Invisible <laughs> Children," which sounds like an awesome band or movie. Yeah, and he was like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you heard about Invisible Children?" I'd lie, I'd be like, "Yeah, they rock." <laughs> that sounds like an A twenty four movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. So, are, are we all going Coney twenty twelve over elevator buttons? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's yeah, that was an easy. I, the second I put these up, I was just like, "There's no fucking way elevator buttons went in," and I'm the one who picked it. Um, okay, so the, the last side of the bracket is fixed. Before we go to the other side, let's hear a bit from our very first sponsor of the day, Napjitsu. Are you looking for a healthier energy option to help you power through that 2 p.m. feeling? Well, ditch all that sugary garbage. Napjitsu has natural time-release nootropics to help you keep energized and focused for hours without the crash. Napjitsu now offers 13 powerful, natural, brain-enhancing nootropics. That's good for you because nootropics, they basically help you, you know, boost up your cognitive function, your memory, your focus, your creativity, and more. And their patent-pending now capsules have natural ingredients like B vitamins, orana, ginseng, cordyceps, glutamine. In other words, way more than just caffeine. Napjitsu now gives you six, over six hours of energy and these time-released in three doses so that you don't crash. They're ne- Nepjitsu Now Energy Supplements. They come in these convenient small packets, so you can take them with you, unlocking sustained energy boosts right whenever you need them. Whether you want to power up for your early morning workout or snap out of your post-lunch work 
Funk, or fuel that late night gaming sesh, Nepjitsu has you covered with Now Energy Capsules. For a limited time, receive 30% off your first purchase when you go to napjitsu.com slash LCB. Go to napjitsu.com slash LCB for 30% off your first purchase today. That's N-A-P-J-I-T-S-U dot com slash L-C-B. Love them. Love them to death. Oh, yeah. Um, thank you, Napjitsu. Then we're going to start now on the other side of the bracket. We'll start at the bottom, the 11 seed versus the 6 seed. The 11 seed is, and a lot of you had some form of this, um, an urgent email or mail of any kind. Mail of any kind, emails, almost all of them are inconsequential. You could, they could theoretically be consequential, but like people will treat emails like they're the biggest thing in the world and they're usually not important. First thoughts on uh, email. I don't yeah, think meetings I, are more ins- inconsequential than emails. I think a lot of meetings could just be emails. Um, uh, there's, there's, you could, that's how you get medical results. <laughs> yeah, I, I would I would say I, I'm currently not on a lease because I missed an email. Um, so that that had consequences. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you have, yeah, I guess of, so. But you're living somewhere. I'm still, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just like it's an apartment I really like, and I would like to stay in longer. Um, I don't know if that's going to be up to me anymore. So uh, <laughs> but they, you haven't been removed from the apartment. Like you're just going to keep paying rent. No one's going to care. That's the point. Yeah, yeah that, I mean that's true. It's I, that seems to be what the what is going to happen. Um, but I, I'm definitely they could come in tomorrow and be like, you gotta get the fuck out of here. So you have mm-hmm. me checking my email right now. Yeah, actually, <laughs> I'm coming up kind of soon. Um, I don't know when my lease is up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're actually going up against kind of a buzzsaw. And this is one, Coley, I told you before we started that this one is going to murder you that you didn't think of it. And I believe, Nick, you did. It's the number six seed is <laughs> that symbol from Game of Thrones that ended up meaning absolutely nothing. Oh, I, I'll take it a step further. The television program Game of Thrones <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> could not have been less consequential. <laughs> the one of the funniest things about Game of Thrones is how literally everyone was talking about it nonstop. Like you like Euphoria is now basically, and the second Game of Thrones ended, nobody talked about it ever again. Oh, it yeah. is incredible. During the, the pandemic, story, I had people was... tweeting me, oh, I'm watching it now. Don't the waste of time. I, I remember the... talking, not talking, uh seeing a tweet that was from you know some entertainment reporter or whatever. And it was Comic Con. They were at Comic Con the year after Game of Thrones ended, and they took a picture of the throne. And they were like, "Last year, the wait was four hours to take a picture with the throne. There is no line anymore." And to <laughs> destroy it that fast in a year, like I can't imagine how furious HBO must be just about future memorabilia and shit like that. Like it, it tanked a franchise. Now who knows? Maybe well, House of Fire or whatever it is will revive it. Because I will still give it a shot. Nobody's watching that. I'll, no, I'll, give, it of- I'll give it a mm-hmm. shot. But it is, it's, uh, it's, got a, it's on a short leash. Mm-hmm. I, I defend shows like Lost and Thrones that like end poorly, but that are so good in the beginning. Like At least you get that it was good but because they have to just write on the spot, whatever. But the circle of people being in the first episode and never addressed makes no sense. Mm-hmm. They, and they did it again multiple times. They did it once the second to last episode or third oh, to last yeah. episode. The, it, yeah. the, the spiral was such a big deal. I think I'm the only person who was waiting for the wizard that lived in fucking no dicks floor. Like he never came back. Like that's the only yeah. wizard in the whole show. Never came back. Um, <laughs> my, my counter to what Owen just said though, like those whole shows, the be- very beginning, they're selling you in the ending. So, like, they have to nail the ending. Otherwise, it was a waste of time. And I've never seen Lost because I've heard it's a waste of time. Mm. Mm-hmm. Great great starting episodes, I, to be fair. Great starting episodes. I watched the first two seasons again recently. Mm. Yeah, the first couple seasons of Lost are, like, the best TV ever. Yeah, I think TV series serve to, like, consume you. and like So, if it was all good for all those hours and weeks and years, and the poor ending I can excuse... It, no, it ruined everything. Uh, you don't get it. Okay. The amount of time you commit. Gross. And it was the first scene. Of, like, the first time episode. Watching, what does it matter if the ending sucked? It's over. Yes, it does. It's, because you get emotionally invested. Cool, okay, B, I guess. I did it, but like, you still had all those good moments with it. For, for what? 
But Thrones specifically, that, you know they Thrones, fucked up. Thrones, you know they fucked up because the old fat guy just like loves being famous and hates writing now. Yeah. And then the two younger nerds they had running the HBO show, they started getting all these Star Wars offers and shit, and they just took their eye off the ball so bad that they got fired off Star Wars. That's yep. that you know they could have done even marginally better, and they just did. Besides Momoa, who was in four episodes of Game of Thrones, everybody's career is really, really petered out. They've not, not really done anything. Dinklage? What's Dinklage done? He's in an Oscar nomination. What Dinklage would you fair to him? Uh, yeah. Oscar awesome. nomination. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Nobody's watching that. He didn't peter out. What's he, his he name? Did uh, Kit Harrington was in Bastille. Or no, sorry, Pompeii. Bastille is the song. Or the band. Yeah. That did the song for Pompeii. The way I think about Thrones is like, imagine you were served like a seven course meal and the meal one through six were great. And then meal seven, they literally force fed you a piece of shit. And they, you wouldn't yeah. go home and say like, wow, meal one through six was really good. You'd be like, hey, they served me a piece of shit. The, the, the last season destroyed all character pe- character arcs. They they left loose ends. It just, it, was, it fucked you. Television shows serve to immerse me in it for the 50 minutes or an hour that it's on. And then I don't think about it. He's just, he can't be spoiled because he just watched Sopranos for like the very first time, and he's like, "This but, is true television. This is how I deserve to be treated." Yeah, I guess I'm a hypocrite. I, that like that was my personality for a few months. <laughs> Still yeah. is. Uh, yeah, 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 that is. yeah you, you only let that control the thirty minutes you were watching it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. I just, I just lied. <laughs> um, and, and if you think about a lot of hit shows, a lot of their endings are bad, but people still love them. Like the yeah, hit like rate everything of everything Breaking season. Bad. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's I, the only I think one Breaking people Bad. like. Yeah. The Wire. People like the, the only Wire. Ended. Like. Yeah, but there was seasons of The Wire that people didn't totally love, myself included. Sure. Season two. But they're like, not huge. I would rather fuck up season two than the yes. last season. Yeah. Exactly. People I would don't totally like agree. The first with that. couple episodes of Breaking Bad. Mm hmm. Which we're is gonna keep this. We're, gonna keep this okay. play. We're, we're sticking this only to the spiral thing instead of Game of Thrones on a whole because I think the spiral plays better for most people because they they were just so let down by how literally inconsequential that was. Uh, but anyway, we'll bring it to a vote. Uh, urgent emails or mail of any kind, which I feel like is gonna lose the shit out of this matchup versus that Game of Thrones symbol. I'll uh, we'll start with you, Coley. I, I like the the spiral is consequential because of the amount of rage it's caused me in my life. Like it. It was such a foreboding spiral. That foreboding. It was nothing. the most foreboding spiral mm-hmm. I've <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> nothing. It forebode nothing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm like I've I ignored emails for decades and nothing happened. So I'm, I'm emails, mail. Like you ever see a like you ever see a series of letters come in and like they change to more menacing colors. You throw mm-hmm. all of them in the trash. Nothing happens. Like that. I'm I'm picking mail. I'm going to my trash right now. <laughs> Jay, what, what do you about. got? None of them are open, too, I bet. You didn't open yes. a single one of those pieces. Right in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Is that blue? Oh, yeah, yeah like, brother. Yeah, You've yeah, never gotten blue. to blue, have you? <laughs> 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 I've been in the game long enough. Jay, what are you picking? Um, so I've never seen a single second of Game of Thrones. I know Red Wedding is a thing. Um, sure is incest became popular i think <laughs> uh it was the first episode yeah uh, john snow is a guy in doggy style right in the first end of the first episode i, I can't believe that Stephen Che, the guy who didn't get wordle hasn't seen game of thrones either <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Uh, i haven't i haven't done a lot of very popular things or seen a lot of very popular john things. two weeks ago he asked if there was That's an neat. adam Schefter for the news yeah. yeah, he's like, is there an Adam Schefter that reports on politics? And Coley's like, you mean the news? That's, that's, that was um, so goddamn funny. PMT, I believe, is talking to him tomorrow, and they're going to ask him about that. So I'm very excited for that. <laughs> um, incredible. Uh, so yeah, anything Game of Thrones, I'm going to vote as inconsequential because it mattered zero to my life. The only thing that I think changed with Game of Thrones being over is that Twitter is more bearable. On it was Sunday nights, I believe, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. So yeah. All right, so that's oh, another vote for Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, Thrones didn't hold a fucking candle to The Bachelor. The Bachelor is five nights a week. The Bachelor is every single night. <laughs> that's true. Game of Thrones took one hour every Sunday. That was it. No, there was I'm discourse. Denying. You're forgetting about the discourse, John. Yeah. Mm. The discourse but was the discourse flattening. wasn't as, as, as abrasive mm. as... as uh, Weren't you on the podcast about it? 
No. Oh, okay. I, I, I might have been a guest one episode, but I was not <laughs> of, of – uh, I was on that podcast as much as I'm on this one. Mm, okay. Fair enough. All right, so what are you picking then? You know, it's a good question because – the the male has a bit of a double double edged sword here, where it is so inconsequential that I'm losing half my kitchen table to it. So I, I'm chair kitchen I'm table. table. Two chairs are usable. Um, so it is. It's all on open mail. It just sits here. Um, but but the the amount of time of my life for no payoff that the swirl took up. I'm gonna go with the swirl. The throne swirl. I think the swirl's taking this, Nick. Obviously, the swirl. Mm -hmm. What would you guys have picked? Swirl. Um, yeah, because I think email emails are consequential. Yeah, I very. think physical mail can get lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. All right, so uh, Game of Thrones symbol is going to advance. Next up, we have the number three versus the 14. Uh, the number three, and this was a great, great ad oh. by Fights, actually. And it's the age verification on websites. So like the thing you have to click oh. that says, are you over 18? Yeah. It has never stopped a human being in their life. Not once. Great ad. By no. And I've clicked over 18 way more when I was under 18 than yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. Pornhub, Pornhub realized it was a lost cause. I don't think Pornhub mm -hmm. asked anymore. Uh, I don't maybe yeah, just... remember your, your IP address or something like that, but I've never been asked. And that Asking was someone to self-report anything is such a terrible – like wh what is that going to achieve to any – like at all? Nothing. I'll I'll admit it. When I was twelve, I mean, again, I'm an only child. When I'm when I was twelve, and the internet was still relatively new, and that popped up, I was like, I don't know if I can enter this. I, don't really? <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I did it, but I was like, what's gonna happen? Like, I, I'm still monitoring like your history and shit. So it's like, I don't, I don't know if I, I'm ready for this world yet. And then you get over. <laughs> Yeah, you get over it pretty quick. I think it's a good. Oh, I think it's a great. Quick. Yeah, I'm like, there, um, there are titties over there. I'm going. <laughs> you think I the sign will stop me? me? And there's titties. <laughs> <laughs> They're going up against uh, the number 14 seed, which is <laughs> the left or right symbol on socks, which they put mm -hmm. on socks so that you they it's literally monogram so that you make sure you have it on your left or your right foot. And I'm not sure that I've ever paid attention to that in my entire life. I don't know about you guys though. No. I, I, I all Much of the time, all these age verification does have a weird hold over me. Where I'm like, Yeah, I'm like, all right, I, well, this, this one's a left guy. Yeah, have you ever disobeyed? I obey it every time. I obey, I do too. Yeah, I'm, I'm an obey. Not only am I an obeyer, I notice the difference when I don't. I notice, <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, bro, if you're on, if you have a Nike with the dry fits. The Nike yeah. dry fits are particularly I, the dry fits. Tomorrow, tomorrow, you and I, brother, are playing left sock, right sock. <laughs> <laughs> a blind sock check. I love this. So, but they have to, it's only with the Nikes. It's with the Nike, right. the Nike hey, dry Nike fits. Elite. They have different no, they have different padding in different spots specifically yeah. for like the curve of your mm -hmm. foot. So yeah, those ones, if you're putting those on the wrong foot, you're a lunatic. You're you're in trouble. You're it's, you're, it ruined, like, you're you're gonna have to stop at some point on your walk. And switch socks or your day's ruined. Switch socks. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I've never worn those, so I can't really relate. But I think that this is going to be a uh, maybe blowout matchup. But we'll see. Starting on the other end, Owen, what do you got? The 18 years old verification or the left sock, right sock? Uh, yeah, I'll go verification. I only remember the left and right and elite. And yeah, like I said, very noticeable. Mm -hmm. KB? Yeah, I'm... I've never been bothered by the left sock, right sock. I very earnest. I will obey that no matter what. Yeah, I appreciate it. With no frustration. Because that's think a I nice like pair of socks. It, it's like it's like Zuckerberg when he's like, I don't think about my clothes because I save my brain energy for that. The the socks are doing me a favor. Like John, you take this one off. We'll <laughs> <Yeah. you. laughs> okay. Although. When you're doing when you're doing laundry and you can only find like multiple lefts, yeah, boy oh boy, do you start your your heart. Is <laughs> if, mm -hmm. if you have both, ignoring the split second to choose the right one has just such an omen for anarchy of the day. <laughs> like, why not just pick? <laughs> we, just I think right. the left sock, right sock might be the most consequential thing. <laughs> it is <laughs> very <laughs> important. <laughs> It's a KB. You're picking 18 years. The only reason you invaded Ukraine is you had the wrong socks on that day. <laughs> yeah, the wrong. Like, this is a totally yeah, different I was say, right 
Uh, Nick. Uh, it would. It's, it has to be age verification. You just have to check a box. There should be like a captcha where it's like you have to be over eighteen to know the like click the labias in this in this picture. <laughs> <laughs> Identify the body part. Buddy, that's yeah. still born yeah. free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beat off to a captcha. Um, um, yeah, I'm going age verification. Right. <laughs> Uh, age verification. Yep, age verification is going to advance. But Jay and Coley, what would you have picked? Yeah, absolutely, age verification. Yep, there's never factored in anything at all. Uh, so they're going to advance. Next up, we have the number ten versus the number seven. This is an interesting matchup, actually. The number ten is the little tables on pizza. Little tables they put on your pizza. So they serve a purpose. They do. They're they are there awesome. in order to stop the box from collapsing onto your pizza or the cardboard doesn't touch your pizza. But I've also had, I feel like, a million pizzas that didn't have the little table and they were totally fine. <laughs> and there was no ill effect whatsoever. Whoever submitted this is dealing in small pies. <laughs> no <laughs> jumbo. yourself. No jumbos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to out who, who submitted it. I think it's a good pick, though. Oh, I really was, do think was me. <laughs> I, I, had, I had a lag. That, that was, was small pie, Owen. Owen. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys get your pies from Chuck E. Cheese where they cut it in fucking zigzag. <laughs> We're getting, I'm getting a nice New York cheese pizza and I don't need the table in it. And there's New York table out of my pie. <laughs> my, fucking, my pie is just fine. <laughs> Got to get your ropes up, Owen. I'm sorry. Um, but I, I do think, again, I think it comes down to the fact that I've I've had plenty of pizzas that don't have the table and they're just fine. There's no consequence. Um, but I don't know. I think it's an interesting one. And next up, it's going up against. OK, and this is another one where there is potential consequences of it. It's social media in general. And so social media can have consequences. But ninety nine percent of the stuff put out on a social media people think is important, but it has no consequence. Yeah, but it, it controls all of our brands. I feel no. It, it's it's it, this is a tough one because it's it's both. It's somehow mm -hmm. both. It is it's it, it lives in this in this gray area because it is like ninety nine point nine 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 percent shit does not matter. The when you like you 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 think you're in trouble on social media, you're not. No one fucking cares. No one even knows anyone's mad at you because no one's reading your fucking mentions. So it is inconsequential. But at the same time, it's the most consequential thing on the planet. Yeah. So like that's why it's a little bit of a double-edged sword is that I think that for a wide majority of social media users, they are tweeting, you know, Instagramming, whatever, and they're like doing all that and they're saying stuff that they think is important and is consequential, but it's not. Like you look at even just right now with like the war, like people like tweeting about the like fucking Ukraine and Putin, like it's gonna do anything at all whatsoever. And they yeah. think that it truly is important what they're doing, and there is no oh, consequences to it. And stuff. Yeah, fuck that. There's zero to there's none to it whatsoever. Um, so all right, so we'll do it, go straight to the vote. Pizza tables or social media. Gonna start with you, Coley. I'll go pizza tables. They're they're not doing nothing for nobody. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I agree. I agree, man. They don't do nothing. All right, Shay. Um, I think pizza tables are unnecessary, probably like 99.8% of the time. But if you're in that 0.2 and you got open your pizza and the top layer of cheese is all over the top of that box and not attached to the slice, you're going to be furious. So um, I think they absolutely do matter. They're inconsequential in the fact that they do such a good job that you never have to hear about them. Um, social media, I think, is an interesting one for us all because we work for Bar so it's like it does matter in the fact that like we are like i feel like most of like we all have like fairly good sized social followings and um i feel like almost all of us have like blue check marks and like technically in the internet world that matters but like if you know uh Schefter or like you know the associated press or somebody tweets out something that's incorrect they will, there will be a lot of backlash. I feel like for us, we almost have the guise of like... But even that backlash doesn't matter. Not really. Uh, for like very... Like if you're... What's the name of that news guy who like lied about something? And Brian Williams. Like, yup. So like... Well, social media hurt. wasn't the issue. It was him. Well, like, 
hypothetically, if that occurred on social media, I think the same thing happens. Adam Schefter no, came no. out and did a full uh, apology for a guy who beat his girlfriend and then, like, still like, was, was suspended, what, a day? Mm hmm. Like that, if that, yeah, he's fine. Like, there's That's, no consequences. This is what I mean is like, there can be consequences. Like, if you go tweet like a slur right now, yeah, there's gonna be fucking consequences. But 99% of the stuff being tweeted right now is not people getting like actual consequences for whatever they're tweeting. When, like, when I submitted this, it was like people's opinions are completely inconsequential to like the rest of the world. Like, yeah, you forget. But even who was the AIDS in Africa chick who got fired and then got uh, a much better job like a, a week later? <laughs> It was like gonna have to. It was half like was has blank landed yet? I forget her name. Just it was like Justine, wasn't it? Nah, it might be Justine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's like, she just keeps. Every time I see her now, it's because people are outraged that she has a better job. Like she has a better job every year. (laughs) Stop getting better jobs. It's funny you even look at like Leviev or whatever. Like everyone on social media, yeah, this guy's a prick. Blah blah blah. That dude's in private jet. He doesn't go fuck what you're tweeting does not matter at all and it does not stop him at all like like it's just again i think it comes down to a majority of what is put on social media versus the the tiny percentage that does have consequences you know what i mean yeah um so, okay so, so like, we are now we're one to one all right um i am uh voting for yeah for social media right for kind of what you said um yeah your uncles making facebook statuses like none of that matters like into the void yeah right into the void creed right. thoughts Mm-hmm, exactly uh, fights what do you got you know i this is this is like a 2020 redux i don't want to vote for either of these um but i guess <laughs> i'll vote for the one i hear about less and that would be um pizza things pizza tables pizza tables got two to one lead nick social media is consequential because everybody like you're following like for example we're in this bar stool bubble where we have this self inflated sense of importance because everything we follow is bar stool everything this Outside of that, it's 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 nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. I'm currently photoshopping a pizza table and a tur- and a turtle's nose. Uh, so let's see, <laughs> we, let's see if we can get rid of those fucking things. You guys start um, making paper pizza tables. Yeah, we got to start making. Pa- oh, I'm going yeah. pizza tables. Pizza tables, it is. Um, they got three right now. You can end it right now, KB. Yeah, I think social media is consequential. Uh, but I get what you mean, though. Your opinion, are but. Uh, yeah, the if I can if I can interrupt, this has been weighing on me. I I showed my mail and pu- held it really close to the. Can we uh we blur that? Yeah, bump <laughs> that one out. Gucci yeah, it wasn't probably it wasn't clear enough. I don't check, think it was readable. Think. Think. Maybe like Lincoln bio is maybe in con- the most inconsequential thing ever. No, I yeah. heard that's a crazy consequence. Extremely consequential. Lincoln bio. Yeah. We get it, when we link in bio something to the blog, no, it's no. the biggest blog in the day, without question. Yeah, the, really? those work, those work very well. I, I can't believe that. I, I remember hearing that, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. I was like, blown away. It's shocking. It should my, not uh, work. My Sharon left me account. The original That's name of it was Lincoln Bio, like the la- the name Lincoln, Lincoln Bio B I O U X. And I was going to make it into a parody of something, and I couldn't figure it out, and just switched to posting like rednecks. So you fucking you each thought other. of it, you thought of the parody name before you what you were. Yeah, <laughs> I had no idea what I was actually going to parody. I was just like, there, "There's something here," and then I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck it," and just changed there the show and left me. There That's was good. space there, man. I think someone stole it. Um, okay, so they're going to advance the little tiny pizza tables. Now we have the number two, the last matchup we have here: the number two versus the number fifteen. The number two. And this is a really good one. I forget who added this. Uh, silica gel packs. That was me. Sil- yes, yeah, mm-hmm. Coley. Silica gel Very packs good. in so many different things. I have no idea what they do, but I don't. I feel like if they weren't in whatever they were shipped in, it would not have any consequences. Like the, the beef jerky thing. The yeah. little jerky thing. They have a consequence. Uh, I have to go around them with my beef jerky. It's so yeah. fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, aren't those things like poisonous? You can't. Yeah, eat you can't eat those. You'll die. And, and they they're sharp. Like, why do they put them in their hand into a, in a dark room yeah. into a, bla- a bag? They feel a, enough like beef jerky where you're yeah, they do. every time. <laughs> Especially since they've been living amongst the jerky. Like they get slimy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> they've, <laughs> they've integrated themselves into the jerky society. <laughs> Wait, so why do those, why are those in things? They're like so, Rachel Dolezal in a, in a bag. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 yeah, keep things fresh. 
She was jerky yeah. facing. <laughs> they're uh, <laughs> they're uh, so they're put in stuff to reduce the likelihood that moisture or mold damages an item. Uh, they pull oyster moisture out of the air. Oyster. They pull but moisture like out of the air. Thick Isn't plastic. beef jerky like the driest thing in the world? I mean, it <laughs> could not be more dry. Oh. Clean dry. Oh, no, you guys are eating the wrong no. kind of beef jerky. Yeah, what are you, are you doing chewing to a? I'm not talking about the slimy shit on the outside, like what, like the grease, but like the actual jerky, the interior of the jerky. Oh, the yeah, I like meat. Wet jerky. yeah. The, and then you're just saying you like meat. You like a piece of steak. Jerky <laughs> is dry by nature. It's DVF. literally, literally dehydrated, <laughs> literally yeah. dehydrated meat. Yeah. yeah so Maybe I'm like too things? much. I'm salivating. <laughs> <laughs> that's by the way one of the biggest rackets on earth is the jerky business there's some sort of monopoly that has a hold over that they charge so way impressive. too much for jerky it's yeah that's crazy. Crazy. yeah a whole separate debate to get into uh but, but they're like if you get like a new pair of jordans or like especially like big kids toys that are all plastic things that can't even become moldy you'll get these giant like have you ever seen like the pillow size silica gel pack yeah those could take an entire family you know? no, yeah there's like, there's That's what like Axel that. Weber sleeps on. <laughs> yeah, he sleeps on a big silica gel. <laughs> it's it's the it's but like it they label it like it's anthrax. Yeah, <laughs> like you're not exactly. sending silica gel to politicians. <laughs> it's just it's I and I can't figure out what it does. And it's like, why are you sending me poison along with my Jordans? Like I don't Ooh, understand. I think it just gives you like an upset stomach. <laughs> I think it would definitely kill you. Oh really? That, put that yeah. on the yak wheel. Has Shoe Nice ever eaten a bunch? <laughs> you, definitely. A, ba- a bag of silicone gel that has one piece of jerky at the bottom. It's also clearly not a gel. Like, it's granulated, whatever's in there. Yeah. Like, couldn't be further from a gel. So it's also it's lying to you. Bead or crystal. I have no idea what it actually – or what it's made of. No, I don't think it's silicon. I think I don't know what silica is. No. Um, oh, yeah. So they're going – Could be constipation or nausea. No, that shit kills you. You fucking you eat it then, Owen. You eat it on you eat it live on the yak. Do it. Um, no, wait, there's two different oh, colors. There's blue silica gel and pink. It's essentially the matrix of what's going to happen to you. Okay. Which they never told you it would kill you. It just says do not eat, throw away. Nobody told you it would kill you. The throw away is what's inferring the murder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that confirms murder. Well, like a plastic bag, it says like children shouldn't wear this as a hat, but it doesn't say throw it away. It just yeah, like, tells you it tells you straight up like oh, they didn't put stuff. Okay. Yeah. they the didn't put gel so vague with what could happen to you that may it leads you to believe the worst. There's like a million things in the world that you should not eat. Like they didn't put do not eat on the fucking like the the Jordans. Like they like right. they didn't expect you to eat that. But like well, there obviously is insane consequences. Yeah, why would I eat this? Just, so there's, there's just, <laughs> I wasn't going to eat anything in this box. <laughs> <laughs> anything that came in here. Uh, so that's going up against the number fifteen seed. Right, but they didn't put this, do not eat on the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just just chomping to eat the shoes. Yeah. Uh, so that's going up against the number 15 seed. And this is one of Nick's editions. And this is a good one if you understand it. If you don't, it'll go over your head. And uh, it's it's very, it's kind of confusing again. It's any house points you get in Harry Potter before the final feast at Hogwarts. Because yeah. what happens every year is that that old bitch Dumbledore just decides, like, yeah, you know what? Gryffindor did a bunch of stuff this year, uh, so actually they're going to win the House Cup. So all the work you do all year does not mean anything because Dumbledore, Dumbledore just decides to rig the system, basically. It's like, stop the steal in Hogwarts, essentially. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. It is absolute garbage. But this only These applies if you've watched Harry Potter. All the time. Harry and his fucking cronies break all the rules, and then the last day, they're as everybody's like, Feasting on boiled goose, Dumbledore just decides to pull the rug out from under him. <laughs> award like ninety points to Hermione Granger for uh, it's it's bullshit. And it's like, why even have that in the books if it's going to happen every single yeah. year? The way he did it that first year too was so goddamn mean. Like Slytherin worked their asses off all year. Like they come in, all the banners are Slytherin because they Slytherin was obviously yeah. the winner. They had the most points, and then right at the end, he's just like, oh, you know what? And they all switch to Gryffindor. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, I know you guys tried really hard, but fuck you. Yeah, fuck Dumbledore for that. That's uh, so fucking mean. You yeah, really all the point systems in that, like in Quidditch, you could, Quidditch. I don't care how many goals you score, you catch that snitch, that's game. You win. It's game over. It's literally it's it's insane. Yeah, Wait, you, let me you should start six seekers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Well, okay, Small let's part. ask. Let me ask you, Stephen Shea, have you seen Harry Potter? I have. I saw them all once, so I don't really remember a ton from them. Okay, that doesn't surprise um, me though. I'm, I'm glad you have seen them though, so at least you get the reference. Somewhat recently, like, uh, well, actually, maybe not. Maybe like eight or nine years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so the Harry Potter's weren't even done being made yet. Um, so okay, we're gonna have silica gel for packets versus the Hogwarts um, points system, essentially, starting with Owen. Um, the uh, Hogwarts. Hogwarts points system. One point on the board. KB. Yeah, that, that just makes me think of any sport or game or regular season that doesn't matter if you can just do one thing at the end and win. Mm -hmm. But the silica gel, I'll forget about that in five seconds and not think about it again until never. Mm -hmm. So what are you picking? Um, yeah, I'll go with the silica gel. I just forgot about it. <laughs> Damn, I fucking work. Really <laughs> <laughs> what a roundabout way of doing it nick it's it's harry potter points to me it's like this false sense of suspense like oh i can't believe hufflepuff won this year and then they forgot that harry potter like i don't know fucking let moaning myrtle out of a closet he gives her like 150 points it's bullshit <laughs> fights moaning myrtle sounds pretty hot Oh, she's, she's a dead, dead girl. Yeah. She's yeah. dead, like, ghost in a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, and she also could not sound less sexy. She is the worst no. person on the planet. Um, as a, a very regular uh, beef jerky eater, silica gel sat packs have a profound impact on my life. And uh, I'm also very against Dumbledore's uh, use of the point system. So I will go as... Uh, the, the Harry Potter points as the silica gel never makes it to the garbage can for me. It's always lying around somewhere. Well, yeah, they're well, everywhere. They're all over yeah, my bed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bothers me so like I have a, a two year old who will eat, eat anything. I have two <laughs> idiot dogs. Like I'm constantly worried they're going to be killed by one of these tiny packets. Yeah, no, they, they'll be, they will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the closest thing we have. Like that's. I think that's propaganda. I've eaten silica gel. Oh, so that's where this you is coming have? from, is that you've eaten silica gel and lived. A single bead, and I'm hoping there's no lasting side effect. <laughs> you definitely, there is definitely the no this is, lasting side effect. I, honestly, it, I, I don't know if I caught if you've, stopped, if you've done it yet. I, I would I would don't do this. I don't want to be, I don't want to be party to this. No, 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 years ago. Who, oh, you did it already. Okay, I thought you were yes. doing it right now. I didn't pay attention for a second, oh, and I was deep. like, I don't want. I want to get off the stream if you're going to do it. He will if you <laughs> ask him. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. Yeah, ask Riley right to do it on the yak tomorrow. Yeah, then he'll, then he'll be your guinea pig. He'll definitely do oh, it. That's a peanut allergy. Bitch. He had uh, a baby Ruth on the yak a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, you Jesus think he's afraid Christ. of death? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's like, another I one. Imagine oh. Death by silica gel. You'd be like, you turn into like a raisin. Like you're like, like it's not be horrible. Like that sounds death. like a cologne, death by silica. Death by silica. <laughs> silica would actually be a sick rap or a singer name. Specifically, yeah. not a rapper. I almost said rapper. Would not be a good rapper name. R&B. Uh, yeah. Shay. Um, so it has to be silica gel. Another vote uh -huh. for silica gel. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Counter great counterpoint. I gotta take the point off. I'm sorry, Steve. <laughs> Coley. I don't know why the Harry Potter point system makes my brain immediately go to <clears throat> the coin exchange rate in Legends of the Hidden Temple. When oh, you yeah. encountered a temple guard, if you gave him a half pendant, he let you go. If you gave him a full pendant, he did not give you change. I do not know why I half pendant. And and when you gave him the full one, you never had another one. So you know someone just pops up in the next room and promptly attacks you. But if that last man had given me change, I could go solve the shrine of the silver monkey and, yeah. and get my, my hush puppy gift certificate, whatever the fuck they gave people <laughs> as, a, as a final prize. Um that really wasn't inconsequential, but it's always infuriated me. Um, it's the silica gel, though. Like, uh, if if they stop production of them tomorrow, everything would be fine. Everything. Mm -hmm. 
absolutely the world would go on spinning like there would be no problem and i think that in anything that they put it in shoes food which by the way i don't like that they deal in both that's not i don't think anything. (laughs) yeah that's like you shouldn't be like it's the same packet yeah literally the the same thing (laughs) all right i'm gonna vote for silica as well and advance it the number two uh seed is gonna advance all right before we get into our finals we're gonna hear from our second sponsor of the day roman Most guys have tried different ways to last longer, but thinking about baseball, you know, just doesn't always do the trick, especially when there's no baseball right now, or maybe ever. We'll see, you know, time will tell there. The folks at Roman, an online men's health company, are changing the game with Roman Swipes, the secret to longer lasting sex. Roman Swipes are a clinically proven way to last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, and fast acting, but don't require a prescription, which is super helpful, as you all know. Roman can ship swipes to you in a discreet, unmarked package, and each swipes packet is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need it. So they're really, really easy to use. Just take the swipes out of your packet, swipe it on, let it dry, and you are good to go. Go to GetRoman.com slash lights, and you can get your first month of swipes for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com slash lights. Thank you to Roman. All right, let's just breeze through the rest of these. Uh, on our Western Coast bracket or whatever we want to call it, we have the number four versus the number five. The number four is the rule about waiting 20 minutes to swim. The number five is honking in traffic. Initial thoughts. Mm. Uh, so one of them, there is the potential, albeit slim, for drowning. A bad way to die. Um, so I think I got to go honking. If you right, I'd argue that the honking, there's a higher risk of getting shot or beaten in road rage yep. than there is of drowning after eating. So I'm going oh. I'm going the uh, the other one, the water one. All right, yeah, one for honking and one for swimming. That's my logic as well. I'm going drowning. What? Going swim. <laughs> Drowning's inconsequential. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're fucking dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the waiting the swim rule got two to one. Uh, che. Hmm. Um, it's so you get beeped at a lot, don't you? <laughs> you do, based on that when, last episode. When, I, when I'm in a car, yes. When I'm in the driver's seat of a car, I'm free. <laughs> yes, that was implied. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, yes, I, I can't. I wouldn't imagine you were like are, walking are, down the street. Are human beeps that? Are, are human beings saying beep to you like, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Road Runner, like on the street? <laughs> <laughs> Jay lives right next to Roadrunner. <laughs> um, yeah, it's got it's got to be a swimming, but I feel like that's almost not relevant. It's only this was only really relevant at a pool, right? Because if, at the beach, like you do bring food, but like, are you in that big of a rush? I feel like you're in never. Are you in less of a rush than when you're at the beach? You're there typically for hours. So I feel I'm like it's very rare to get so much food that you're yeah, full the kid and then immediately when you go in the water. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you're an adult waiting 20 minutes, you should be arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's – I think it, it, he does have a point in that the waiting to swim rule has like a way less common of an occurrence than the beeping and traffic thing, For I think, for most people. But I still do think that, at least for me personally, I'm going to advance the waiting to swim rule because it is just so absurd. Like it just it, – I don't think it's ever – caused harm to a human being ever i've never paid attention to it once and i'm mm-hmm. alive asterisk uh but what would the rest of you have picked yeah i think I, there's more consequences to the honking in traffic it might not do anything for the traffic but it does some something to the other car i mean road yeah. rage accidents are a thing the swimming rule makes no sense mm-hmm. kb i think at the very least the swimming rule uh, prevents over overcrowded pools <laughs> Um, <laughs> kids with like nacho cheese on their hands yeah. kind of separates the eater from the swimmer which is which is ultimately a net positive <laughs> the honking the honking the people think they are they are going to do something significant they think they're owning some like fictitious being uh honking <laughs> interesting all right no, i wouldn't have expected it uh, nacho no, cheese great. in a pool. Nacho cheese in pool water is the most disgusting substance on earth. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's silica. They gel. never. That's how on. they make silica gel. That's how. They- <laughs> <Yes>. Exactly. <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I uh, have an a um, somewhat embarrassing omission? This is just uh, something that is uh, frowned upon, I think, by society. Um, 
I don't think I'm ever as comfortable picking my nose than when I'm in a car. <laughs> That's I guess that almost makes sense. That but makes people sense. do see you. I know, which doesn't make sense because you're surrounded by glass. <laughs> and oftentimes when I'm driving, people that would know me from my neighborhood. Um, but as soon as I get in that car and I feel like I got a booger, I'm taking care of it. What's that? Where are you? Where I, are you I, yeah, where are you putting this booger? Uh, flinging like car mat like, right in front of me, like on the ground, like. But Wait, the window could just be rolled down. You can flick the booger out. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Steve's just trying to booger mobile to work every day. <laughs> the cars Damn, with man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do well, you guys not do that? N- no, I don't drive. I don't drive. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm a free picker, man. I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I've never had pick shame. I'll fuck. Mm. You know, I don't really like dig, but if I got something, I feel like I'm I'm done. Oh, I, 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 yeah, I, I will get a booger out no matter where I am. I don't give a shit. Like if you're at, at work, like sitting at your desk with people around. Stephen J. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you see the things I do in that office? Clicking my nose is really the least of anyone's fucking problem. <laughs> oh, I don't think I would ever really do that out in public. But yeah, when I get inside <laughs> those four open Steve. and closed doors, it's it's so, game on. Steve's like driving a booger mobile to work every day, but he's like trying to like socially like one up you. He's like, <laughs> yeah, you fucking free. <laughs> You're fucking your boogers at work. <laughs> you know when like an alcoholic gets pulled over and the empties fall out of the car? <laughs> Chase is just like boogers that roll out. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh my god! Or the ex- the exaggerated like DUI commercials where it'd be fl- filled with beer. One, <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. just, a pile of just, boogers coming out. Just, <laughs> Mucinex got sniped. Oh god. Okay, so they're advancing. Then we have the number sixteen Coney twenty twelve versus the uh, the the number eight middle names. Uh, Coley, start with you. I mean, just nothing. That guy's just running around with child soldiers to this day. It has to be Coney 2012. <laughs> One for Coney 2012, Jay. Sorry, Coney's going up against what? Uh, middle names. No, I, I think middle names uh, have some weight. So, yeah, Coney 2012. It's. I do remember it being a, a movement on social media. It had zero impact. I... Um, I I'm only recalling what it was based on Kyle's recollection of it. So, Coney 2012. Mm-hmm. Oh, Coney I remember it vividly. It was it was it was a big deal, but it wasn't. No inco- one would inco- shut up about it. It was inco- inconsequential. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I don't know. They might they might have a route all the way right right fucking to the championship the title. Uh, I'm going mm-hmm. Coney. Another for Coney, Nick. When Coney was first brought up, I was like, "This is going to win." And then when you just said, it, I was like, "Oh, I forgot about that." It's, it's Coney. It's 100% Coney. Coney's going to advance, but KB, what would you have picked? I mean, he, this man committed child murder, genocide, <laughs> enslaving children. And he is so fine. This is <laughs> going. He is so it's, no it's Coney. It's Coney. <laughs> Yep, I would have picked Coney as well. Clean sweep. This also uh, proved why I, I said social media in the first place. Nothing happened. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's true. They say and that- they say to try and like separate the bad things, the art from the artist. His <laughs> art, his art is the child slaver. Yeah, that's what he's like best at. <laughs> yes, yeah, fucking exactly. Picasso. There's nothing to separate. He's just a, a child warlord. <laughs> Unless he has guardianship of like young has Sheldon, he, has he ever tried to like take over anything, or does he just have these kids training? He's got, he's got some camps. They're just they're just training it up. He's got little gold jigs. Imagine, imagine if Coney of uh, tomorrow, Coney was like, "We're going to defend Kiev." What a, what a, what a twist! <laughs> or the other way. Even that, what if he's like, "We're with Russia." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> outside but I if he going to defend Kiev, we'd all we'd all have our minds in a pretzel we'd be like wait maybe maybe we're pro coney 2024 <laughs> i don't i don't really know what to do here and, and if those like little kids are like elite they just roll over the russian oh, troops yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'd be like wait guess guess how much the bounty is on coney's head right now how much 
Seventeen billion dollars. <laughs> There's no way. Yo, we gotta go get this dude. We have to go get him. What bounty hunter you on? He doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who's offering him this seventeen billion? Yeah, who pays? <laughs> Who's the money? Who's offering the seventeen billion? Yeah, who pays? Dude, why That's doesn't brilliant. fucking Elon Musk just bomb this dude? The U.S. announced that two weeks ago, and none of us heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any and no nobody, nobody, nobody wants him actually dead. Like we just we think it's funny. He also <laughs> must be a really difficult person that like he has an army of children soldiers um, guarding him. Yeah. How, could you how, you him? how do you attack him? <laughs> Wait, okay. Oh, yeah, because okay. that's why the t- you in order to kill Coney, you have to kill like 40 kids minimum. Yeah. <laughs> that's a brilliant minimal. strategy. Listen so to wait, this art- listen to this we- article from March 2020, height of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. Coney's rebels remain a threat, but they're also selling honey to get by. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what, like, like a lemonade stand in the middle of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so at least they're, they're still doing like child activities, which is nice to hear. <laughs> Dude, this is incredible. Huh? $17 billion? <laughs> I know the dude's so evil. There's like no war to be had, so he's sending him in to get stung by bees, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, I mean, so Tony re- rewards his ghost of Kiev with like an afternoon of laser tag. <laughs> <laughs> you were yeah, so, champ. Uh, the the, the sixteen God. Coney's going up against the number four waiting to swim. I'm just gonna advance Coney. I mean, yeah. you got him. Yeah. Yeah, Coney's going to the championship. There's just no no if ends or buts about it. The am, second I, this- am I wrong about this? With a bounty, if you produce this person, I don't know if it's dead or alive or whatever, do they just give you this money? Seventeen billion dollars feels like way too much. Like we could all combine forces, go get this guy, and then purchase half the Eastern Steven, Conference. Stephen, have you not heard about the child militia he has surrounding? Him? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. So. Safe. When you Brent say we all, are set. you saying Americans or like the eight people on this fucking screen? Yeah, that would be all great, like our you know. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe I'm missing. I mean, how many like kids does he have? Wait, I, I want it, 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 it says do they have weapons. He has 100 kids. Do they have weapons? No, well yeah. trained. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. really? Oh yeah, they're highly trained and they have a lot of like. They're not highly right? trained. Yeah. They just have. Well, a, they might be high. He, he might would, be ju- he would just be babysitting if they weren't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, we're not trained at all, though. Like, yeah, even if they're I, I shot a gun for the first time last weekend. It didn't go well. Tony, <laughs> Tony, and the kids would fucking take care of me pretty quick. I, I mean, I, they're allied with Sudan. Like the country of Sudan was like, yeah, all right, let's be allies with Kobe. <laughs> yeah. Dude, children. How is like, well, like a dog, the bounty hunter, or one of the, like the famous bounty hunter guys, not tried? He went after a fucking Brian Laundry and whatever. Like, go after Coney twenty twelve. Yeah. Those big not, bucks. Let's not compare Brian Laundry to Coney. <laughs> but that's I'm saying the risk is worth the reward here. Seventeen billion for the dog. Yeah, seriously. It's like it's insane. He could buy AMC Network or whatever his show is on. I have no clue. Um, but yeah, I guess we should do the other side of the bracket, even though whoever it is getting washed by Coney. Uh, the number two silica uh, packets versus the number 10 pizza tables. Who do you guys think advances? Uh, start with Owen. Um, I just wanted to talk about the pizza things. It's silica gel. Silica gel gets one vote. Um, next up, KB. Uh, it's the pizza things versus... What are they facing? Silica, for Silka packets. Exactly. Uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Silica. Silica fights you can bring forward. I'm going pizza boxes. The Silica bothers me. I need my beef jerky. And also, I can't wait for this to be done so I can go buy some beef jerky. <laughs> Jay. Silica, for sure. Silica advances. Coley, what would you have picked? Yeah, it's the gel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's that fucking joke. They forgot Next. what it was while they were naming it. Like, yes. they did not care. Like, yeah, you know, it's supposed to be silicon gel, right? And I go, oh. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Why do we care? Um, next up is the number three 18 years old age verification versus the Game of Thrones wheel. Uh, Coley? Spiral, I guess. The, the spot, yeah, the spiral for the world it was in. 
couldn't have been less consequential. And that's really what this is about. In my world, yeah, mm -hmm. it's caused me great emotional uh, damage. But in the world it was designed for, zero consequences. I'm, I'm moving that on. So wait, so you're doing 18... No, you oh, okay. Sorry. Misinterpreted that. Uh, next up, Steve J. It's tough because I never saw Game of Thrones, so I have to project what a regular person that saw these things would be. Um, and it sounds like people were bothered by it. So um, the 18 plus, I don't know that, again, that hasn't stopped anyone. It just gave a 12 year old Coley a second thought before he proceeded. So uh, I'll and have he to watched say the second therapy. thought. It all Folks. worked out. Folks. 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 Um, all right. Fights. I'm going to go. I'm going to go 18 plus as well. The, it, it was exceptionally inconsequential, no doubt. In the moment, now it has become of consequence because it, it really – there. I have had seven to ten podcasts that had nothing to do about Game of Thrones completely derailed because of this these conversations. Where, like, mm -hmm. it was just like it, it, an episode of KSC Radio just became two hours of fucking bitch about Game of Thrones. So it had some consequences there for, for me in my life. Okay, so 18 years old, another vote. Um, two to one right now, Nick. Spiral, the fucking spiral. <laughs> that goddamn spiral. Uh, KB. Yeah, I don't think the age thing has ever affected anything or anybody. So that age thing, but the lack of it would be consequential. It's like uh, to protect these companies, <laughs> like liability issues. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. Owen. Uh, yeah, I'll go with the spiral as well. I think it. Chase said it worked on him, the age verification. Maybe there's a small percentage of children it works on. I don't know mm. they could lie. <laughs> That's how Coney picks his victims. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has one of those too. Yeah, if someone if someone says like I am not 18, get out of here. He's like, Oh, that's easily malleable. I'll take care of that yeah, one real quick. <laughs> Instructions <laughs> on how to not get abducted are within the porn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, have, you have to find it. God damn it. Uh okay, so I have to I have to uh break the tie here. And it's weird because like the more we talk about the Game of Thrones spiral, like within the world of Game of Thrones, no consequences whatsoever. And they made it seem like it was very consequential. But in the real world, it's kind of like fights are saying, like there was a lot of consequences because like everyone was talking about it, everyone's pissed about it. Yeah. But like so it's kind of hard to to judge it, but I guess. I'll have to go with the 18 I mean, years old. We really things. ended episodes where we're like, we can't keep talking about this, but we can't change yeah. topics. So we're just done. I'm going to go with the age verification only because it affects more people beyond the people who watch Game of Thrones. And in by effect, I mean didn't affect. So, like, it's, I just think it, it's been there forever and it's never done anything. Um, so they're going to advance the number three seed age verification. They're going up against Silica Gel, uh, Coley, Silica Gel versus the, the uh, 18 years old age verification. What do you got? Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, I'm sticking with with the gel. It's it's it appears and it's like you you said it. It the fact that they toss it in anything means they have no idea what it does. They're just mm -hmm. someone made a lot of it and they were a really good salesperson uh, and has convinced people that it's, <laughs> it's powerful. But it'll, like if we got rid of it again tomorrow, the world would keep on running. I agree, Jay. Um, sorry, silica gel versus silica which? gel versus age verification. Ooh. Um, yeah, I, I think I got to go silica gel. The age verification, mm, yeah, like legally it protects them. I guess same thing with silica gel, but just silica gel, like physically, it feels more tangible and we can just throw out and discard whenever. Silica mm -hmm. gel. All right, fights. Uh, I'm sticking with the age, I'm riding age. All right, Nick. I mean, whoever I picked is going up against a child warlord that everybody forgot about. <laughs> yeah, I you know, know what the most inconsequential thing is? This fucking pick. This pick is the most yeah, inconsequential. That's honestly. true. <laughs> you know what? This side let's, of the bracket. Let's just fucking move it on. Let's move on Silica because I would vote for it as well. Um, yeah, so it's number two. Silica is going up against Coney 2012. I Coley. found a blog listicle. 11 practical uses for silica gel packets that you probably never try. Or don't oh, ever dry out your phone when you drop it in the toilet. Yeah. Like what oh, that's a pretty good idea. Moisture wicking? I got rice, Steve. I don't need to use a fucking silica gel for my shoes. Um, 
Let's start with Coley, Silica Gel number two versus Coney sixteen. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Coney's been like we've proven how consequential he was in a <laughs> hilarious way. It wasn't the intended purpose, but man, oh man, the laughs we've shared here today could not have happened <laughs> without this child warlord. And I mean, to be fair, yeah, the campaign didn't work. Those children are still enslaved. Like there yeah. are consequences. So, but the so, Coney, yeah, that's it's, the thing. The campaign was what was recommended. Yeah, we so it's the Coney 2012 yeah. campaign that we're talking about here that was inconsequential because there was no consequences. It didn't awareness. It's not his body of work <laughs> in the year of 2012. <laughs> oh, it's the campaign. It's so all the campaign. I, I just well, think that there's the campaign did nothing. There was no consequences. Well, there's a bounty. There's, there's no bounty on the silica gel guy. Should huh? be. <laughs> there absolutely should be. Um okay, wait. So Coney 2012 or Silica? You're going silica then? I'm going so it's it's less cons like if I the I was the only one who nominated it, right? Uh yeah. Yeah, no one else even considered it. That's how inconsequential it is. <laughs> Fair enough, Jay. I feel like that's a pretty good argument from Coley. Um I do enjoy the laugh that we'd have over the Coney thing, but yeah, it is it is still uh I, I guess an important important question is like, are we talking about the we're just talking about the social media movement, right? Yes, yeah. the movement to okay. capture Coney by spreading awareness in a different continent, which did nothing, and the guy is still enslaving children, and the guy who started the movement, in fact, went to jail. Mm, that was a consequence. We're all like right tangentially there. aware of it and like kind of remember it. The, so. the consequence, the, the consequence was of him jerking off in a movie theater. Like that was what caused that to happen. But wait, what? No, that's Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, this guy kind of kind of kind of kind of on the street corner. Kellen uh, Lindsay yeah. park. Jerking Everything off in public. Like yeah. start. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, the I'm guy that it. started the movement. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all of this kind of jerking off in the theater, child warlords, all kind of skeeved me out. I'm going to vote for not that. Um, <laughs> <still okay. laughs> Fair enough. Fights. The Man, they skeeved movement. me out. I can't, I can't believe Silica's is making a run here. This is Cinderella stuff. Um, this is this is Coney for me. Silica, I think, as I think, Silica was quite useful. I think, I think, Silica has has a valid a valid reason to, to not even be on the list at all. If we're being honest here, I think Silica has is great importance in my life, and it's great bother. Uh, Coney, twenty twelve, <laughs> put it on the board. So you're not bothered by Coney. You want to make that? Clear. Yeah, it's <laughs> uh, no. I'm, well, I don't know him personally. Silica affects my life every day. <laughs> He's never done anything. Yeah, Silica's John never. Tony's never fucked up your beef jerky. Right. Fights must be able to eat his beef jerky fast. <laughs> and just it up. Um, I'm going Coney. Yeah, okay, easy, easy Coney. Coney, uh, uh, KB. Hey, Cody. Coney, three for Coney. Oh, and you can put it away or you can tie up Silica. If the first stateside journalist in 39 <laughs> who was writing about Hitler got caught jerking off in a park... So we just gave up on that. <laughs> <laughs> we just called it a day. <laughs> that would be. I think it's Tony. <laughs> Tony. Tony's the winner. The most inconsequential uh, thing of all time. The Coney 2012 movement. Uh, I'm glad we could bring awareness though to the fact that he's a 17 billion dollar bounty. Yeah. So imagine, imagine there. because of this, the jokes we had today. Someone mm -hmm. of of some importance here is seventeen billion, and puts the like fucking chaps is just like you know what I'll head over there. I'll go get him and, yep. and chaps becomes the seventeen. Famously billion. has been shot before. I don't know if yeah, that's the guy we want to send. <laughs> we got to send him <laughs> Billy Football. <laughs> no, let's send no one from Barstool because the person that does will likely have to murder multiple children. And so, also, like, John, are you trying to take credit for the the eventual capture of Coney, <laughs> even oh, though we're talking yeah, about got out ahead of it? I think it might be like a, wow. I think it's like a trolley problem. I think he's always surrounded by children. <laughs> uh, so you have to kill the children to kill. Yeah, it's it. a will yeah. problem. If someone has the will to kill kids. <laughs> and only, they can have. Like, well, what happens I if I leave him alive? Oh, he'll kill children. Like, yeah. <laughs> Let's send like a crack team. Let's send like Jody Arias and like I don't know who else we could send. Like make an actual team of people that we know can get this done, and then then they'll capture that bounty. Casey Anthony and a yeah, oh, yeah. Camry. Oh my god, dude. 
<laughs> she would she would murder that literally. <laughs> We'll get it done. I, I hope I really do hope. And I want to note that if you're a listener of the bracket right now and you are thinking about going to g- get Coney and you do, you succeed, you owe us 10%. You're, 10%. You're right. And, and we have Marshall merch on the journey. Yeah. We have camo yes. stuff. Yes. <laughs> also, hit me up. I'm down. I, I want to go. Steve <laughs> wants to kill those kids, man. He's all about it. <laughs> nothing more than Steve and Shay getting gunned down by Coney's child brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to come down and buy an NBA it's, team. Dude, them posting that on like the Viva La Stool account. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Jay gunned down by 15 kids. His body's just riddled with bullet holes from the waist down. Came from, the, from his feet. Like <laughs> Whitney, <laughs> Wells, Whitney Wells has him tied to the hood of her truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a great episode. Sorry we ran a little bit long. Um, we will be back next week. We're going to think of a whole new one. I believe Jeff will be back on the next one. Uh, but until then... I'm Ken Jack. You got Coley, Jay, Bites, Nick, KB, and Owen. See you next time.